We are the mods, we are the mods, we are, we are, we are the mods. Oi, Paul Weller. Hi, I'm Chris Strouth, and this is What? And boy, do we have a fantabulous show for you today. It's a virtual carnival of sonic delight with the titanic talent that is Dylan Hicks and three pesos. So now, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Dylan Hicks and three pesos. Are you up? Get ready to have a good time. The odds are pretty good, cause a woman that's a specialty of mine. Bring more joy than a hundred men, more laughter than the best comedian. I can really do it, I can get the job done. Baby, I'm the governor. As handsome as a fella you were dancing with tonight But there's no grooving in his mood Mama, I can show you how to do it right And we'll see how much is coming this is worth Compared to all the merry men That I can really show you if I were the number one Baby, I'm the governor sitting in the roadside inn and we're talking with the three pesos and Dylan Hicks do you guys ever get mad that you know you don't get top billings yeah you know, it's always we, it's always Dylan on top well we switched it around for a while it was like Pat O'Brien and three pesos and then that didn't have a ring to it another so, thing we thought we might try is all being Dylan like leave the name the same but change the person and yeah, dress up like him yeah well they get a lot of recognition when they're with the other group Taco Cabana so I think it kind of makes yeah. up for it. And our old group, of course, Sloppy Joe and the Bun. Now, did it really tick you off when they changed from three pesos to uh, Taco Cabana? Did that just like, did you think about a name change at the time, or we just pipe bombed them and got it out of our system? Well, actually, they were called two pesos, and we we thought we'd be ahead of the curve and be three pesos, and that eventually they'd be three pesos, and we could say, ha, we got there first. It didn't work out that way. They panicked and changed the name. Just saw it through it all. So there's no chance of you guys trying to sell out and go corporate and becoming Dylan Hicks and Taco Bell? Well, after Johnny Cash and Willie Nelson wrote those jingles from a couple of years ago, we figured that, was, that had been done. Yeah. But if the money's right, you know. No. 
I'd do it. I mean, I'd make a run for the border, but I'd have to get. We're talking like 50, 60 bucks here yeah. to get me to go, go to that level. 50, 60 bucks to make you run for the border. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'd have to name a couple things after us, too, <laughs> like the, the peso enchilada or. So, what have you guys been doing? What have you, what have you guys done lately? How long have you been together? Blah, blah, blah. Tell me your band history. Go now. Speak. Well, we formed in 1990, is that right? Or 89? 90? Sounds good. And then um, we... Dylan wasn't legal yet to get in bars. No. But we crashed him anyhow. And now we're still doing it. <laughs> Wiggy. So we've got a special treat for you on today's episode. Um, it's my former arch nemesis, now uh, reformed evil corporate overlord, Mr. Man. Thank you, Chris. It has been a long time since that phone bank in Istanbul where once again you foiled my schemes for world domination. Yeah, uh, tough. Uh, so anyway, uh, what are you doing nowadays, as if I didn't know? I'm oh, sorry, well, I wasn't really supposed to read that part. Well, I decided that the best way I could repay my debt to society was by sharing my abilities with the youth of today through the wonder of magic. Yeah, magic shows. Uh, all, the, all the kids are really, really into magic shows. Uh, anyway, uh, I think it's time that we watch uh, some Dylan Hicks. a much better door than a window. No, I can't see through you. Don't feel much through you. Well, yeah. In my opinion, the best waffles are at the Roadside Inn. Waffles with syrup, 
blueberry waffles, waffles a la mode, Philly beef waffles, and that Middle East taste treat, falafel waffles. The roadside in, 24-hour delivery, all the instant coffee you can drink, and for takeout, there's plenty of free off-street parking. The roadside in. So now, be prepared to be dazzled and amazed by the magic stylings of Mr. Man. Ooh, ah. Thank you very much, Chris. Now, what I'd like to do for you is to show you the way two opposing viewpoints can come together. Here we have two fingers. They have opposing viewpoints. If they try to come together, what do you wind up with? Bruised fingers. But if you apply the magic of conflict management, the two can come together on one hand. Thank you very much. You know, you know, I have a really bad feeling about this.
Have you ever noticed that as soon as you see someone you've never seen before in your life or take notice of something you've never seen before, you begin to see that person or that thing everywhere? Well, the number 23, this holds true for that more than almost anything I've ever come across. It's obviously got mystical implications. There are 23 chromosomes in each of us. We each give 23 chromosomes to any offspring we have. Try watching an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation that doesn't have the number 23 somewhere in it. Take my word, you look and you will find it everywhere. Not to mention that 23 UHF station. Ho, ho, ho! You want, a, you want evidence of a conspiracy right there, right there. Now you have uh, you have a couple of records out, a couple of forty fives that are on prospective records, and they're um, we've sold four or five of them, but the other four ninety four should be in the stores there, so you might be able to pick those up. And then um, we're we're working on a re another recording project, and that'll be out sometime in ninety five probably. So that'll take the form of some sort of full length item, like a compact disc or something. Cool, cool, or <laughs> in a track perhaps. You know, it's just an overlooked technology that nobody really thinks about. Wait a minute, reel to reel. Okay, so how would you describe the sound? Uh, silly. Silly? Silly, silly rock. Um, <laughs> silly rock, yeah. <laughs> silly rock, yeah, I've been. <laughs> kind of like Barney, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, now who was your favorite magician from the 70s? Um, boy, that's a tough one. You know, it's, uh, I really don't remember much of the 70s at all. He was born in 1981, which yeah. is kind of a, kind of a, well, you know, you shouldn't be drinking coffee then. It will stunt your growth. And remember that, folks Actually, at home. Coffee will, in fact, stunt your growth. As I get lost and have no idea where to go and I'm getting camera vertigo. But you guys don't know that there's any cameras here, right? Well, this yeah. Roof, yeah, I didn't think they were allowed in restaurants. You know. No, they're not. It's a beautiful view of downtown St. Paul. You know, it's uh, it was really expensive, but uh, I'm glad the Roadside Inn got got a restaurant here in beautiful downtown St. Paul because it's just such a lovely view, and uh, it's so much closer. It really is to everything. Plus, you get the scent of the river too. It kind of you know it increases people's appetites, and they're more likely to order more things. Well, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's, it's too bad the waffles are out today. What They're about really good. David Copperfield? I mean, does he count? Is yeah, he... I was trying to think of his name. Well, David Copperfield definitely counts. You know, there's pretty much, you know, Harry Blackstone, David Copperfield, and Doug Henning. And the oh, yeah. Henning. So do you want to explain your hat? Uh, <laughs> it's my hat, and uh, I got it in North India. What are you hiding? Nothing. My, uh, my hair. Someone told him that indie rock was cool, so he thought they said India rock, yeah, yeah. and so he went there. Cool. So you out looking for like the new like you know, Super Bowl '63 kind of stuff? Oh and, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Just traveling around India and uh, other places just nearby. And so, what's your day job? What are your day jobs? You have a day job? Oh, no, you don't just, need one. I mean, are you kidding? Just surviving off the, and, uh, and with all those single <laughs> sales, you know, yeah. at mm -hmm. three bucks a pop, there's there's millions of yeah. dollars to yeah. be made. Well, I'm usually just, but I do sympathize with people that do have to do that. You yeah, know, go up, get up, and go to those jobs. I usually just. But no, I don't have the straight job's just not for me. So so, but if you did have to do a day job, what? Uh, I might work for you know six fifty an hour slinging records to people at a stupid corporate chain record store or something like that. Hey. I meant to ask you this early though, since you're on TV. Mm -hmm. Do you know Tony Danza? I do not know Tony Danza. See, I'm wondering if you're such a big TV star after all. No, well, I'm really not actually. You know, I, I can't believe the organization is making me have that guy on. And Mr. Man, he's just he's just evil. Oh, I'm on. I'm sorry, now be prepared to be amazed and dazzled by the hypnotic stylings that are Mr. Man. Why, thank you very much, Chris. Now, to begin my show, if I could get some sort of a volunteer from the band. You, sir. Thank you very much for helping me out. What is your name, sir? Sloppy Joe. Sloppy Joe. Well, Sloppy Joe, sleep! Your will is not your own! I'd like you now to cluck like a chicken. Cluck? Cluck? 
But very well. Now sleep, your will is not your own. Leave me. And now all of you out there in television land, your will is not your own. Sleep, sleep, attain a global perspective, manage change, attend focus groups, achieve a proactive stance, drink free coffee. <laughs> hey, now you stop that. We'll have none of your evil capitalist propaganda here. I warn you, Chris, you interfere with me at your peril. I know how to handle the likes of you. Feel the power of John Cage. Oh, oh. Well, the two can play at that game, peasant. See how quickly, quickly you can stave off this benefits plan. Oh. Well, taste a little Pearl Jam. Oh, wait a minute, I have that record too. <laughs> oh, hit this power fading. Everything going, Madras, Vlad. <laughs> now I am free to control the youth market airwaves. <laughs> man, this man, he's red hot guitar. Oh, oh, once again, counterculture has defeated me. I warn you, you haven't seen the last of me. That gal never make me cluck. It's Friday night and the record's loud. I got pizza and ice cream, but I ain't.
Well, what an exciting show that we've had today. First, the DIY sounds of Dylan Hicks and Three Pesos, and then, of course, the threat of the evil Mr. Man to take over the world. Well, anyway, make sure and pencil us in for next week when we'll take a meeting with one of the city's more proactive groups. Oh, sorry, that must be a little residual corporate speak from my battle with the man. So anyway, remember, if I can't dance, don't want to be a part of your revolution. See you next time on What? This program was brought to you with support from Rev 105 Radio, the radio revolution, 105.1 and 105.3 FM. By Total Music Systems, Total Music for sound results. The Electric Fetus Stores, for music, clothing, and gifts, find it all at the Fetus. Dark Recording Studios of Minneapolis. Chris Strout's Wardrobe, provided by Tatters Alternative Clothing, Minneapolis.